there, guys. So, uh, <laughs> you know, um, I've always been pretty much the kind of person that um, I'm not wishy-washy. Um, I'm not, I may, there are certain things like say a restaurant or something like that where I may be like, ah, it really doesn't matter. You know, we can go here, we can go there. Like it, it don't really matter to me. Um, life decisions and things that I have got set as far as uh, a philosophy, a life, skill or choice or like um, something that I could hang my hat on. In other words, I'm pretty solid with that. I don't usually go back and forth one philosophy to another. I'm, I don't do that. Uh, I may listen to a lot of different things to expand my um, knowledge and, and everything. I may be all over the place with that. Uh, but at the end of the day, even with that, if it does not, if it does not correlate with my core values and what I feel, think, believe, and and understand to be my truth, I let it go, and and I don't keep going that way. Um, I've also been pretty much most of my life the type of person that I don't have to get, I don't have to bump my head to to uh to learn. Um, I've been the kind of person most of my life where if I see three or four people going down the road and they, they keep falling into the same hole, I'm, I'm taking heed to that. I also take heed a lot of times to people who say, well, you know, no, I wouldn't do such and such, such and such. And there's witnesses like there's more than one person like two three four people saying the same thing i usually listen like i'm i'm not that person who has to well you know if y'all y'all live y'all life i'm gonna live mine i'm gonna do what i want to do just because y'all have the experience don't be it's gonna be mine and so i go headlong into it and i gotta fall into the ditch as well uh that's never been me so this video and I don't even really know how to put it. Um, I can't do for the black community, which I am a part of, and gonna die a part of the black community. Uh, but the wishy-washiness, the complete cognitive dissidence is it's too much for me. I, I can't. Like, I literally, I can't. Um, a few months ago, three, four months ago, maybe, we had Ebony K. Williams uh, and Elania Van Zandt uh, with the whole bus driver ordeal. You know, that was the thing. I did a video on it. Black women were literally rooting for Ebony Williams because she was talking in a way that I felt black women wanted to go upward and mobile and not hanging around Pookie and Ray Ray and trying to get out of the hood and make their children's lives better and just make life better in general uh, for themselves to go higher. Um, but, uh, you know, now we have, uh, you know, Ebony K. Williams talking now about Black women's market value being diminished and going down and uh, the, the, the eggs ain't being no good. And, and like I, and, um, you know, I can't, I simply can't. Um, I I stand on what I say. I stand on what I think, feel, believe, all that. Like nobody is going to make me now 
go back and side with Ebony K. Williams on the bullshit that she's talking about right now. There is no way in hell. I mean, she's literally being a hypocrite with everything she said, literally. Because she's telling college educated black women to pursue their MRS degree. You need to get a husband before you get too old. Literally telling them that also that the pool of successful, I'm assuming black men, is so low that we're going to all be picking from Pookie and Ray Ray, which is the bullshit that black men have been telling us. And they're saying that she's saying the same stuff that Kevin said, like y'all, I, I told y'all before. I didn't listen to Kevin Samuels when he was alive. I'm not going to listen to his bullshit when he did. I'm, I'm not listening to him, not listening to his philosophies. I'm not listening to any of that because at the end of the day, this is just black women themselves not wanting to go higher. They are not wanting to leave their sons, leave their, um, their men. They don't want to leave them behind. They, they don't want to do it. They want to bring them along. And if they want to bring them along, that's fine. If black women, black college educated women want to marry Pookie and Ray Ray, they can do that. I don't have anything to say about that. My content is for the women who don't want that or who have been there, done that. I'm not changing my position. I'm not changing my position. My position is the same. Every video I make, I stand by what I say. Um, Ebony K. Williams is proof that this is an absolute agenda. This is an absolute agenda. And it's not just toward black women. It's, it's for the whole black community. And what that is saying is that you all have your place. You all are down here. This is where you are. And black women, you can go and get all the degrees and all the college education you want. You still basically ain't going to be shit because you still are going to have Pookie and Ray Ray with you. How honestly, how do you think a college educated woman is going to continue to advance and move ahead and go up here when she has a man because now we're going to talk about Tyler Perry because it's all a part of the agenda who only paying a light bill can't afford to he, he can't afford to do anything he is literally still being Pookie and Ray Ray inside her house with his friends playing video games and just and literally bullshitting have we forgotten? I mean, like, I mean, this stuff amazes me. It's like, do y'all remember the Matrix when Will Smith or whatever his name, what was that guy uh, named, the old man? Um, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Would get that little thing and psh, a big flash of light would come in your face and you just forget everything. That's what's happening with the black community. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's literally what is going on with black women. Because I'm trying to figure out where is e where is Ebony K. Williams' bus driver then? Like, Elania offered her a bus driver. She said she didn't want him because he didn't own the bus company. So where is her bus driver that she was supposed to get with and marry and take care of when she graduated college, where is hers? Because I don't understand how you can say some shit to people and you you don't have you don't have a bus driver. Like where's your like literally? What kind of men are you dating? I can guarantee you that Ebony we Ebony K. Williams is dating. If she's dating black men, they are rich and successful black men. Or they're non-black men, which I would see that a little bit more with her. But this is all, man, if y'all can't see this agenda, I don't have anything else to say. And it's, it's hey, <laughs> you know, I don't have a lot 
lot of black women uh, come to my channel anyway, so maybe I'm not going to be losing anything, which is fine, because I'm going to tell y'all the honest truth. If I had three subscribers, I would still do the content that I do. Half the time is therapy for me. It's, 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 it's literal therapy for me to do this content. So I don't do it for views. I don't do it to stay on a hot topic and all of that. Because if I did, I would be talking about the Kardashians and the housewives, uh, you know, these different housewives and reality shows. I don't do that because that stuff does not interest me. I've never been in, in, into that type of stuff. And basically, like I keep saying, I'm not a hypocrite. So my content is not for everyone at all. But I still stand by what I said about black women who are successful, who are reaching down to get Pookie and Ray Ray and let him live, let them live with them and not pay no bills or pay one bill and they take all of let let hey if that is cool and that's fine because I'm li I'm looking at a I'm I looked at the video I'm not even interested in it. it really pissed me off but I looked at it just so that I won't be a hypocrite and not even know what she's talking about so I did look at the clip I did look at it and like I say I I don't understand how you can sit here and see this woman being a, an absolute hypocrite. And I'm looking at all of the comments and all of these black women. Well, you know, she right, though. And, you know, Kevin Samuels tried to tell us a long time ago. And, I mean, what else did I see? I saw comments, um, you know, oh, 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 Ebony K is preaching. And, I, and I'm just like. Like, I'm, I'm literally trying to figure out, is this the same, like, are these the same black women? Because they were talking about decentering men. They were talking about moving on. They were talking about other options of men. I don't get it. I, I literally don't get it. And, but, hey, black love. Black love. If it works, it'll work. But here, here's 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 my thing, and I'm gonna cut this video off because it is really it's really sickening to me. But at the end of the day, um, you know, <laughs> that okay. Let's talk about that that small pool of, of of black successful black men, whatever. Anyway, first of all, have we forgotten? That when black men, I mean, historically, this is not just something that happened three months ago. This is down the line, historically. When black men get successful, they move out of the hood. They get a non-black woman and they make a life with her and have little beautiful biracial babies. That is what they do. So I'm trying to figure out, like, so... Y'all know the pool is small, so but y'all would literally rather let these people talk y'all into into dating Pookie and Ray Ray. Y'all literally are going to sit here and do that. <laughs> That's crazy to me. The 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 fact that black men all over social media all the time, and y'all talking about y'all now y'all want to worry about y'all eggs. When black men don't do anything but go make baby mamas anyway, like but now y'all want to worry about y'all eggs. When black men all over social media telling y'all fuck them kids, fuck them kids, and don't care. Don't they don't take it back? They don't renege it. They don't say, oh well, I meant it in this context. I mean, they don't take back any of that. Fuck them kids. Black women are undesirable. Black women are not worth protection. Did y'all? I mean, y'all don't deserve to 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 have protection. Save yourself, black men. Passport broke. Uh, all like 
Who who shined the little in y'all face? Like who did that? Because this this is like some alternate reality shit. Like I what in the world that I wake up to? This is crazy as hell to me. That first of all, Ebony K. Williams is like that she would even say some shit like that because like I'm saying, where's her Pookie Ray Ray? Where's her bus driver? I don't get it, and it's it, it like I said, it, it's it's proof that there is an absolute agenda. It's proof that the world is mocking black people. Period. Period. Because if the world is 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 the world knows that those type of black men are low tier. The world knows that those type of black men are unproductive. The world knows that the black woman is the one that has been keeping shit going. The world knows that the black woman is the one who has the power, the education, the money, the black grammar, all of that. But because of, I don't know, some dick on a, in a marriage, a dick, dick in a ring, I guess. So because of dick and a ring, you will throw your status and the way that the world looks at you with some semblance of respect and go back and, and, and grab Pookie and bring Pookie along with you. And the world, the world is literally at this point laughing at black people. It, they're laughing at black people at this point. That we would sit up here and let black men see, 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 and this is the thing that gets me. It uh, it only it only makes a difference when black women start talking about going up here and doing for themselves and decentering men and not worrying about it and using their options and all this. That's when everybody comes out of the wood where everybody got to tell black women, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Everybody, celebrity, all these people, don't do that. But when black men are on social media saying, fuck them kids, when black men are on social media saying, yeah, I got 15 baby mamas and fuck all of them. I ain't finna marry none of them. Don't nobody say nothing. When black men are all, all over social media telling everybody that black women need to be unalive, on a mass level, just unalive them, start over, we're going to do something new. Nobody says anything. Where is Tyler Perry when black men are on, on social media talking about unaliving black women and the femicide rate right now is three or four per hour or every, what is it? Every, it's, it was five. It was every five hours. I think we down somewhere at about four at this point that black women are getting killed. And over in Africa, just because I don't talk about that stuff, I don't think I don't know. That that's about what and what. It's about the same. And we see. We see. And we are purposely cognitively being dissident. We're purposely cognitively dissident about about all of it. And so what I'm going to do, <laughs> what I'm going to do, like, cause like I keep saying, I don't, I don't have the energy. Like I really don't. Uh, I have been already changing my content to self-help, self-love, well-being, raising your frequency, uh, manifestations and things like that, more spiritual things. I've been doing that already anyway. And that is probably what, that is what I will continue to do. Uh, more of that type of content because I, I can't with, with, uh, with us. I can't with us. I can't, I don't, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight black men. I do thank y'all for the, for the, uh, for the uh, subscriptions, for the subscribers, because the videos that I've made, you know, black men been coming on here attacking me, calling me feminist, calling me a mammy, saying I hate men, just, you know, and I've gotten a lot of subscribers, which I appreciate that part. I love that part. I, I thank you all. 
Um, but the fighting, calling me names, and then I'm going back and I'm I got that ain't that's not me. I don't have the energy to do that. I don't want to fight black men. I really don't. I don't want to fight nobody. I want to raise my my frequency and I want to go up here somewhere, be sitting up on top of a mountain somewhere, cross leg, uh, doing own. That that's where I'm at, like for real. That is where I'm. I'm I'm ready for some beads and a robe. Like that that's where I'm at right now. Cause all this other stuff, all this real this matrix shit, this I can't do this. I cannot do this matrix. I literally do not have the energy for it. So those of you who want to go with me, those of you who want to hear uplifting, inspiring, uh, raising your frequency and vibration and how to manifest and how to um go to higher heights and and parallel universes and and talk about those kind of things i am here i welcome you i wish uh uh and i want more subscribers like that like i really do but the fighting this war that that is going on this agenda that the matrix has with black people and the agenda that you know it, it just keep going back and forth back and forth like i I, I don't see how nobody that has two good eyes, even if you, even if your, even if your consciousness, consciousness is not high enough, even if your third eye ain't open, with your two eyes, just your two plain old regular eyes and ears, you should be able to see that this is some bullshit that they got going on with black people, man. Yeah, we all need each other. We need to stop all this fighting. Okay, these are the comments that I'm seeing, and this is black women saying this shit. It ain't black men saying this, cause see, next month after all of this moves over and all of that, black men gonna be right back on on TikTok and Instagram and all that, telling black women that they ain't shit, fuck them kids, and we don't want y'all. We not gonna. I mean, because here's my other thing. Here's my other thing. Where did the apology come from? I ain't heard no apology. Like, they they haven't reneged on saying they, they don't protect us. They still say we don't deserve protection. That was two weeks ago, y'all. Two, three weeks ago. F that B. She should have got hit in the face. Y'all crazy if y'all think I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to gonna, uh, defend them. We hear fuck them kids all the time. We see them not taking care of their kids and getting up walking out. But we also see them saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I, not they, they calling themselves house husbands. That's what they're doing. They call themselves house husbands. For successful black women to be used and abused and get their ass beat. Because trust me, that's, all, that's the only thing going to happen. Because they mad, they don't want you, they don't like you already, and then you coming in, you got all of this nice stuff, you bringing them along, they don't have nothing, they don't feel like no, no man, they're going to cuss you out, treat you like shit, whoop your ass, leave you, leave your kids, and more than likely, they're going to leave you worse off than they met you, then, just like I said in my other video, because like I said, I don't go back and forth. I don't, I'm not wishy-washy on my stuff. They're going to get their alimony and they're going to have, and they're going to get child support while they got their mama or their auntie or whoever, their sister, whoever going to keep them kids. Because you know they're not going to keep them kids. But they're going to get some alimony and some child support for them. And if that is the fate of the black community, more, more power to you. Because like I say, I'm going to be in somebody's uh, satsang a uh, retreat, uh, some other kind of retreat, sitting down in front of somebody uh, in lotus pose, going to higher realms. That's where I'm going to be. So y'all take care. Y'all uh, like the video, please. Like the video, please. Hit the subscribe button. Um, hit all notifications so that you'll know when I upload new videos. Um, some of the videos that I have, I started a whole new channel 
where I was talking more about that stuff. Um, I think I'm going to bring that stuff over here. That's what I'm going to do because that's going to be what I'm going to do anyway. So I don't need to make two channels. I'm going to have one channel and I'm going to bring all that stuff over here. You guys, so much. thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching to the next video. I'll see you next time.